Hi, and welcome to Run Tall. I'm Tim. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together. So thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are, that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and giving you my thoughts on a brand new hydration vest from Nathan. It's their Hyper Night Quick Start 2.0. Now, before I get into it too far, I do want to get a disclosure out of the way. The Hyper Knight Quick Start 2.0 hydration vest by Nathan was sent to me for the purpose of review. However, no one's paying me to make the video. No one's telling me what to say. And no one has an opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first here on YouTube. The Hyper Knight is a unisex hydration vest. It retails for 90 US dollars. It does come with a bladder. And I think that's important to mention because a lot of vests don't. So here you don't have to go out and buy one separately. They have a couple different color options to choose from. You can get it in this bright green or you can get it in the black and the silver like I have. I like the black and the silver. I just think it looks really sharp. Now this vest lives up to its name of Hyper Knight. It has 360 degrees of reflective material. Over 75% of this vest is covered with some type of reflective material. And that's so important for me right now. Now I live in Michigan and this time of year, our daylight hours are really shrunk down. So you know, if you wanna go out for a run, for example, before or after work, chances are you're gonna either start in the dark or you're gonna to have to finish in the dark if you decide to run after work. So this vest helps to keep you safe so that you can be seen by oncoming traffic. Also this time of year, because we're moving into the winter months, it gets pretty cloudy and that's even during the regular daylight hours. So visibility is really important to me to keep me safe when I'm out on the run. Now, I've been running and working out with this vest for a couple of weeks now, and I've had it out in a variety of different types of weather conditions. Now, on some days, it was quite hot. It was in the mid-70s, and, and the sun was shining pretty bright. But on other days, it was cloudy and overcast and foggy. And on one occasion, I was out in pretty much a downpour of rain. And it didn't seem to matter how much light was available, whatever light was available. This material did an excellent job just reflecting that light to light me up to make sure that I was could be seen by any kind of traffic, any kind of dangers that might present itself to me and keeping me safe. The Hyper Knight features a minimalist design to it. It is a 4L vest, meaning that you have four liters of storage capacity. It has two pockets in the, located then in the front, and then also has two zipper pockets located in the back. And again, four liters of storage, that's a lot of stuff that you can take with you. So you have a couple large pockets in the back. So we'll start with the top pocket. Now this also houses your hydration bladder as well. So the first, what you're gonna see is your bladder. And then the second pouch here, now that is, that is the storage capacity that you have, so you can put, you know, larger items, maybe a coat or sweatshirt or something along those lines you might want to take with you out on your workout. And you can see it runs the full length of the backpack or the vest itself. And then you also have another zipper here toward the bottom. And this might be a good place to keep other things you want to have, you know, pretty quick access to, you know, maybe a pair of gloves, something along those lines. Now for me, I'm always carrying an action camera with me because, you know, I do create content for YouTube and it's primarily a running channel. So I typically always have some type of selfie stick and action camera with me. So this is a great place that I can store that and take it with me out on the run. So when I'm not filming, I don't necessarily have to hang on to it the entire time. So you've got a couple of nice places to store some things in the back of the vest, but you also have a couple of pockets located up here in the front. Now this is where in the first pocket where I might keep some nutrition and, and here you can see that I've got a gel here. Uh, but then you also have on the side a place where you can uh, keep another water bottle. If you want to take more water with you, and we'll talk about the size of the, the bladder here in just a second. And then on the other side of the vest is another zipper pocket. And this is the two pockets. So you have the one where I like to keep my nutrition and then a zipper pocket on this side that you might want to keep something like your electronics. So... Uh, maybe you have an MP3 player that you're taking with you. In this case, you know you can put your cell phone on this side of the vest if you want to. Now, I have an iPhone 13 Pro, and it fits in this just perfectly. There's not much room to spare, but I like that because that means it's just not going to bounce around. It's going to hold in place really well. Now, in terms of the bladder, 
We'll talk about that for a minute. It does have a screw on top. It's a wide mouth bladder, so it's easy to fill up. You don't have to worry about that at all. I usually am using water bottles to, to fill up my water, uh, my bladder. And I normally just take about two. Now this has a capacity of 1.5 liters. I rarely take that much water with me, but there have been some occasions on those really, really hot summer days, especially if I'm going out on a long run that might be up to three hours or more. I will fill it to the max and take it with me. But typically, I've only got about two water bottles full in here. So somewhere around you know, 32 to 34 ounces of hydration with me. Typically, it's just water, but sometimes I have some other type of mix uh, in there as well, just to keep my electrolytes up. And then you have a, a hose that comes around. It's, it's got a long hose, but you can customize that. And they do have directions on their website if you want to cut the hose down to make it fit you. The only, the only thing that I did from when I got this uh, right out of the box is I moved the hose from this side of the vest over to this side and I have it draping down and then clipping up on the side. And for me, that works really well. So this is the length that it came. I haven't cut this down at all. Uh, I, I might in the future, but right now this is working really well. And a couple of different ways that I have used uh, the uh, bladder here to get a drink. Now it does have a bite valve on it. One is I just leave it clipped. And I just will pull it up and take a drink and then I can just either grab it and let it slide down or oftentimes I just let it go and the momentum of my, uh, you know, my stride and so on, it will just fall back into place. The other option that I found to be really convenient and, and I used this when it was raining because I was, I was getting drenched and downpoured and the plastic clip here uh, combined with the rubber hose, it didn't slide very well in that clip to be able to, to uh, take a drink by just pulling it up because it wouldn't fall back down. So what I did is I just unclipped it and I left it long enough so I could actually run with the bite valve in one hand. And then when I was done taking a drink, I just was able to clip it back in, in place with no issues at all. It's really easy to do that. And then as long as we're talking about getting a drink, this does have a wide mouth bite valve on it. It works really well. The one thing that I would note is that it does have a secondary valve here. So you, you need to make sure that that is popped open. Otherwise, you're not gonna get anything to drink. And then the other thing that I found to make that made it easier for me to get a drink uh, was when I would bite down on this, I would actually kind of give a little bit of pressure and pull downward on the hose while I was drinking. And that seemed to allow the water to flow just a little bit quicker and a little bit easier for me. And then when you're all done after your run and you want to take care of your, your bladder, the, the quickest way that I found to, to clean it up is I just put a little soapy water inside the bladder itself and I rinse it out that way. And the same with the hose. Now I will de detach the hose. The hose just screws on to the bladder so it comes off really easily. And then when I after I rinse it out, I try to get all the soap suds out that I can. This bladder is easy enough to turn inside out that that's typically what I do. I just I kind of reach down with my fingers and then push the bladder up from the bottom side and I grab it and I just pull it through that wide mouth area and then that allows it to dry much quicker and easier and if i need to i can rinse off any additional soap residue that might be there so that's how i have found to take care of it i know there's probably a lot of other ways to do it too but i like this bladder for that purpose because it just makes it so easy to be able to turn it inside out and clean it up and then have it good to go for the next time so you don't get any kind of mold or bacteria or anything like that built up so we've talked a lot about the safety features with all this reflective material and oh, by the way, these straps also work really well to run the tubing through for your hydration vest. Or if you have another water bottle that you're using here, and especially if it has an extended straw, you can run it through there just to keep it in place. But we talked about all of this reflective material. Again, 75% of the vest is covered with this reflective material. And we talked about the convenience of having the four different pockets and up to four liters of storage. So let's talk about comfort. How comfortable is this? Well, it's not just a unisex vest, but it's also basically a one size fits all or at least fits most people. It has lots and lots of adjustments. So you have two straps on each side of the vest as you can see here. And then you have a couple straps in the center of the vest as well. And these are completely adjustable. All you have to do is just grab a hold of, of the strap and pull it tight to whatever comfort level that you like it to be. And it has an adjustment of basically 22 inches up to 46 inches. Now that would be the equivalent of 56 centimeters up to 117 centimeters. So you have lots and lots of adjustment there. 
I really like that. Now I'm a smaller runner, so you can see I have a lot of excess material here in terms of strapping. All I did was just kind of wrap it around and tie it off to get it out of place or get it out of my way. And then once I had it adjusted to, to the desired fit that I like, you don't really have to worry about it after that because the front ones, now these uh, clip into place. So they, they have the adjustable straps, but then these just snap into place. And so once I get it, like I said, fit, fitted for me, I didn't have to make any adjustments that way. And then the front clips here or the front straps are also on some guide rails. So you can slide those up or down. And again, so that you can find the right fit for you. So I found this to be super comfortable in terms of the fit. And it, it just became kind of a part of me in many ways. I just kind of forgot that I was wearing it. And that doesn't always happen when you wear a vest of some sort. Sometimes it can feel a little bit bulky or awkward. And this one just, you can get it to fit exactly the way that you want it to. So I really appreciate that about this vest. I love the comfort of it. The only thing that I would note is uh, the first time I ran with it, I probably had the side cinch down a little more than I should have because when I went to take a nice deep breath, I could feel it on my rib cage. But that was a quick adjustment and I was good to go. And I haven't had any kind of comfort issues with this at all. So let's talk a little bit about the material. It does have some wicking material here. It's soft to the touch. And even on those rainy days or days when I was uh, quite warm and sweating a lot, I didn't have any kind of chafing. So it's really comfortable to wear in terms of the material, you know, being up against your skin. Another great feature about the Hyper Night that I really love is there are plenty of times when I might be going out for a workout or a run where I don't need to take necessarily the bladder with me. So it's easy to remove. So as you can see, they have just a couple of Velcro straps here. All I have to do is just unvelcro those straps. You can just grab a hold of the bladder and pull it right out. And then you can still use the vest to onboard any kind of storage uh, things that you need to take with you. For example, you might still want to have your cell phone with you or you might want to have some, uh, some nutrition with you or whatever other items that you might want to have. And you still have a place for a water bottle if you want to take a little water with you, but you don't necessarily need 1.5 liters of water. Or you don't necessarily need to take advantage of the, uh, the bladder that's included with the vest. You can still take advantage of all of the safety that this vest has to offer. Overall, I'm really happy with the Hypernite Quick Start 2.0 4 liter hydration vest by Nathan. I think it's well worth the $90 that they're asking for it. It's well built. It's really, really comfortable and super convenient with 1.5 liters of water that you can take with you and four liters of storage capacity. So you can take all of the essentials that you're gonna need when you're out on your workout. I think this vest is a great buy. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Tim.